Welcome to another special edition of In the Hot Seat here on the Podium Finish and the Podium Finish Live. I'm Rob T. Oxen, and on this edition of In the Hot Seat, we'll be joined by Zane Smith ahead of this weekend's Echo Park Texas Grand Prix at Circuit of the Americas. Now let's head to my interview with Zane Smith. So Zane, you're in the middle of your rookie season with Spire Motorsports. I know it's kind of been a difficult start, but what are some things you've learned from these first several races that you look to apply in the spring and summer races? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely a, a rough start. Uh, our Daytona 500 was was good. Um, and then uh, going to Atlanta, we actually had really good speed uh, and a mistake on my end. And then... Um, went to Vegas and had even better speed in, in practice and um, and where we ranked on, on lap averages and, and whatnot and, and how our car felt. Um, and then again, just to put myself in a bad spot uh, arrow wise and um, had a, another mistake there. And then Phoenix was a struggle. And then um, Bristol uh, got caught up in uh, a wreck from, getting hit from behind and then uh, getting put into some marbles and not being able to stop. Um, so it's been, like I said, a rough start, but uh, I guess we're learning. And um, yeah, that's what makes the Cup Series great is we get a little reset for the next week. And um, our focus now is, is towards Coda and Coda has been good to me in the past. So hopefully we continue that streak. Yes, indeed, because I know Coda is certainly a track that's been really good to you these last two years. In fact, you're the defending winner for the truck race two years in a row. And although you're not going to race in the truck race this weekend, you know, knowing that this is a track that suits your driving style, is this an opportunity for you and your 71 team to be like, you know what, we've got a chance to perhaps get some good points here? Yeah, I mean, I sure hope so. Um, whenever road courses are, we're on a road course week, it's... Um, for me, I'm, I'm always a little bit more just excited just because the road courses are a lot of fun. Um, so hopefully we could just have a, a good reset and just a, a good run. We, we know my myself and, um, and my team really need it. So um, hope to have that, but uh, we'll keep grinding and, um, and hopefully just uh, getting better each and every week. What is it? What are the keys to Coda, really, from a driver's seat? I know the truck will be is much different from the Cup car, but from your vantage point, what what makes this track suit your driving style, and how do you attack this track? Yeah, I think Coda is just a, a lot of fun. It's um, it's a little bit of everything. Like it's a, a huge road course, um, and I feel like one of, if not the most like proper road course we go to. And so it's a uh, it's always a lot of fun going there. You start out the first half of, of the lap where it's high speed, um, pretty windy, a uh, few big break zones. And then on the back half, it's uh, super technical and um, also a couple big break zones. And um, it's just crazy. And so I, I don't know. I've just always uh, liked going to Coda. Always, always loved being in Austin, Texas. And um, always enjoyed my time there. Do you, get a, do you get a chance to explore the city because of it being in a different market than the usual places that NASCAR goes to? Uh, I have a, a few times gone gone downtown there. It's crazy just how different different pieces of, of Texas could be. Um, but yeah, it's it's always cool to to be able to go see the city and, and go see what else uh, there is to offer other than a racetrack. That's great to hear. And I'm sure you have some favorite cuisines around the area. Yeah, yeah, I always forget the the name of the restaurants I go to, but I know there's a definitely a good steakhouse I always visit. You should do it up for sure before you get to the race on Sunday. And uh, I just am curious because you're working with a really diverse group at Spire Motorsports with Corey LaJoy, a Cup veteran, and then you also have a truck graduate who you banged doors with quite a bit with uh, Carson Hosevar. What is it like to have this unique team dynamic and kind of lean on them for input or just to kind of shoot the breeze during the race weekend? Yeah, it's um, it's been been good so far. Uh, it's been awesome having them on the Spire side, and then um, also two more teammates and uh, and Ross and Daniel in a way, and then um, I guess even even more with the track house drivers with uh, 
with Shane. So hopefully I could lean on Shane maybe a little bit going to Coda and um, I'll learn a thing or two from him. I'm sure you'll definitely learn as much as you can from SVG during this race weekend. And you also have a pretty good crew chief in Stephen Duran. And I'm kind of curious how he's helping you navigate the competitive landscape of cup racing. Yeah, Steven's been awesome. Um, he obviously has a, a lot of experience with with Kevin and and whatnot. And this is his rookie year as a, a crew chief, and uh, it's been great to have a guy that's that's calm and um, grinding it out with me in, in just this bad stretch of of luck and um, pretty much everything that could could happen to us. Um, but it's uh, I, I definitely believe how, how you end your year. So hopefully we could get some bum rolling and, uh, and both of us could, uh, could start clicking off some better finishes. Certainly for sure. And I am imagining there's some outlets that you have away from racing that helps you kind of decompress from the stresses of racing. And I know when we've talked in the past, you talked about running and cycling. How have you tried to keep up with doing both of those in terms of the physical and mental aspects of competitive NASCAR racing? Uh, yeah, um, pretty much my, my weeks are, are full from, uh, just the, the training on, um, Josh Wise's side of things. So back with him, uh, it's been a couple of years since, since I've been a part of his program. It's really cool to see how far that's come. Uh, and, and I feel like it, it definitely just improves you, um, one off the track, but I feel like it, your performance, uh, inside the car definitely elevates. So. Uh, it's great having that, but um, yeah, it's nice to to have a little something else, whether it's running, cycling, um, or just inside the gym to take your mind off of a bad weekend. Absolutely, and I know once the once we get past this first half of the season, when we get to the Olympic break, how much are you looking forward to that downtime to just to decompress and maybe get away from the racing side of things and do some of those things like running and cycling or just going on vacation? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet during my off week, but um, I haven't thought that far yet. So just focus right now on hopefully having a good coda and turning our luck around. For sure. Now, let me ask you sort of a hypothetical question as we wrap things up here. What advice would you give your younger self about what you've gone through racing in the short tracks of the West Coast to what you've done in trucks and now in the Cup Series as a rookie driver? Yeah, I mean, I, um, it's it's crazy what... Uh, whatever career path I feel like you, you have, but the ups and downs, just keeping a, a level head. And, um, and I think just thinking on how, how you built yourself to, to when you have a successful moment is important to remember how to get back there. And, um, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you choose racing, um, race as much as you can, uh, whenever you can, whatever it may be. And I feel like that will really show uh, down the road in, in your racing career. Certainly. My last question for you, Zane, is if you were stuck on a deserted island, what songs would you be playing so you can get by there in this unusual moment in time? Oh, man. I don't know. Some Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> That's a perfect... <laughs> That's a perfect one for sure. Well, Zane, I hope you have a really great race weekend, turn things around, and is there anything you wanted to say about your season or to your racing fans as well? Oh, yeah, just thanks for the support. I know it's been a rough start, but um, thanks to those that have stuck with me and, and had my back. So hopefully we turn around and um, keep proving you guys right. Absolutely. Well, I hope to catch up with you at the racetrack, Zane, at some point. But best of luck this weekend and for these next several races, man. Thank you.